Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set So Much Love. Um, yeah, it's new in the catalogue and today I'm using that image. I'm going to use it twice. The sentiment, love to celebrate you, has come from Butterfly Wishes and it's there. And I have got no stamp sets out, stamps out, so not very good. Right, one on there, and one on there. Right, card stock I'm using. I have got. Uh, seaside spray, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eight, folded in half and burnished. A piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Now, someone did ask me if I use Whisper White, and the answer to that is no, I don't. I get my white cardstock from the range. I get 50 sheets for 4 99 and it's thicker than uh, Whisper White and it's I find this really nice. It's a smooth has a smooth um, surface and it's great for stamping and I've used that all the time. So that's what that is. And I have two of these, one for the inside as well. I also have a bit of DSP and this is retired. This is from last year's in colour pack and I'm going to be using the right inside. And that's just a smidgen too long. I'll trim that off when I stick that down. I've got a scrap of white for the sentiment and I've got, I will have when I get it out, some white for the flowers. I've already stamped and cut out the flowers but I will stamp and colour one in for you now. So to do that we've got our white got my memento ink let's put this there and my stamp right you'll need two of these I'm only going to stamp one so that's all I need is just one and on that ink. Right, and I've brought out the Seaside Spray ink to do the sentiment. I'm just going to put that right in the middle and pop it in there. Clean that off. And I'm using the label punch, lovely label punch I think it's called. Oh, I don't even know if this is still current. Let's have a look and see if that's still current. I have got my catalogue at the side of me. Close this up so I don't have ink all over me. Mm. It's 
it's not, it's retired. That's great, I'm using retired paper, retired but uh punch. Not being very current, am I? But then Nice clean stamp. Right now then, I'll colour this in. I've got Seaside Spray Dark, Seaside Spray Light and Light Old Olive and Dark Old Olive. That's all I use. So. Use old olive first and colour all the leaves in. Who's liking all the New stuff out the catalog. I'm really pleased they've carried quite a few of my stamp sets over. I need to start getting them out and using them again. I tend to use them for a bit and then they get put on the shelf and forgotten about when new ones come out. Right, so the leaves done. Right, this is dark hot olive and all I used this for was the stems of the flowers and the leaves and with the flowers what I did I with the light saucy fern I just coloured in roughly two thirds of the flower. I left the top section white. Includes the bits where the leaves are. You can see the backs of them. Right. 
Oh my. And with the dark, all these where they've turned over. seven of them. And then the buds. All the buds get dark. And then what I did, I went all around where it looks like it's on top of another leaf and just like a shadow and just drew underneath them. I think that's it. I don't know if you can see that if I got close. You see where the shadow is. And then I got Daffodil Delight Dark and coloured in the centre. And then I fussy cut it all out, which I won't do because obviously I've cut it all out already and I cut both out. Put that to one side, it won't go to waste, I will use it. So let's stick this card together. Boop. Right, I'll put this in the middle so there's a nice even space both sides and we'll trim off the axis excess very thin bit And then that will get just stuck flat on there. Might as well stick the 
inside bit in. I didn't do anything inside, I don't think I did. No. Oh, I know what I could do. Hmm. I could use this bit inside. It's just what I'll do. What a good idea, Burns. Told you I'd use it. Yeah, that looks quite nice inside. So, with the flowers, I stuck one down flat. And I stuck it at an at. Oh no, I stuck it quite straight. And then the other one I stuck on dimensionals. dimensionals stick on that leaf right take the backings off of these and this one I stuck at an angle just there over the top of it. And sentiment just there. Right, I am going to add some gems to this one. The other one I didn't do. I will. Right. Not very good, it stuck to my finger. Let's add some to this. There we are. There's our card done. Hope you like it. I do like the way I've done the inside on that. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Well, like I say, thanks for visiting and hope to see you again soon.